Hi everyone, I hope you're well. This is Selina. Welcome back to one of my videos. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name's Selina and I release a crochet tutorial every week. And this week I'm bringing to you this um, beautiful case slash pouch slash um, purse. It's really easy to make and it's perfect. I'm going to be placing my crochet hooks and um, accessories in this. I'm really excited about that. It features a zip at the top and I am going to be lining it and I will be um, listing in the down bar the um, video that I made about lining a crochet bag or purse and that will be perfect if you want to line yours too. So the free pattern for this project is as always available on my blog selinaveronique.com and yes, this project features two um, full granny squares. So I say full, it's because it's a variation on the granny square where the stitches are full and there are no holes. But anyway, I will be explaining this in detail. And so for this project, I used one skein of pink yarn and one skein of blue yarn. And I used drop muscat moisturized cotton. So this is 100% cotton yarn. Again, I will be lin linking in the down bar everything with the exact details and colors. And so I used a pink colour and I used a blue colour and this is a um, light three yarn and as I said it's 100% cotton, it's a 50 gram ball and you will only need one skein of pink and one skein of blue. I will be, um, and that's considered a DK weight yarn in English terms and a light three yarn in American terms. And so I also used a four millimeter crochet hook. You will be needing a pair of scissors, a tapestry, a tapestry needle. You will also be needing a zipper. So I will be linking and writing down in the in the down bar the um, size of my zipper because um, I've already zipped it in but I still have the wrapper somewhere so I will be writing down um, the size of the zipper that you need. You will be needing um, pins, um, a darning needle and some thread to sew in your zipper and that's all. I will be using US terms with British terms in brackets and yes I hope you enjoy this tutorial it's super fun and I'm really excited about bringing this project to you. Okay so to begin this pattern you will be making a slip knot and pop your hook through and tighten and now you are going to be chaining four so one two three four and once you've chained four you are going to be slip stitching through the first chain that you did and pull through to create a ring into which you will be um, stitching. So now that you've done that you will be um, chaining three. So one, two and three and that counts as your first double crochet. And now you will be placing two more double crochets inside that ring. So to create a double crochet wrap your yarn around your hook, go into the center pull up a loop, you have three loops on your hook, take your yarn go through two loops, take your yarn and go through two loops. And now you are going to be placing another double crochet inside that center. And this is what you have, three double crochets. Now you are going to be chaining two, one and two and going back into the center with three double crochets. So just go ahead and place three double crochets inside this center. Now chain two, 
one and two and go back into the center with three double crochets so one two and three chain two one and two and go back into the center with three double crochets one two and three and we've almost finished this first round and to finish off this first round you will be chaining two one and two and slip stitching through the chain three here at the beginning and this creates your first round so now for round two you are going to be chaining three one two and three and this counts as your first double crochet turn your work and we are going to be working inside this first corner so just go ahead and place two double crochets one and two double crochets inside the center now chain two one and two and go back into um, this corner with two double crochets and now um, we are going to start sorry that's just my yarn so now we are going to be starting the full granny square pattern so um, for this granny square pattern we are going to be placing a double crochet on top of the double crochets from the previous row so just go ahead and place a double crochet on top of that stitch and then go into the next stitch with a double crochet and go back and in, go into the next stitch with a double crochet and that creates this effect for now and to finish off this section so kind of not well yeah this kind of row here we are going to be placing two double crochets inside the corner and now chain two one and two and place two more double crochets inside this corner so this is what we have so now we are going to be going into um, the next stitch with a double crochet on top of that stitch and then another double crochet on top of the next stitch and a double crochet on top of the next stitch and now we've reached another corner and we are going to be placing two double crochets in the corner chain two two double crochets and again we are going to be going across um, this section with a double crochet on top of each stitch And then in the corner, place two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. So you've placed two double crochets in this corner and now we are going to be going across this row with double crochets on top of each stitch. But we are simply going to be placing two double crochets in this section. So we are simply going to be placing two double crochets in this section because the chain three from the beginning counts as our first double crochet in this section that goes on top of this stitch here. So we've completed all our double crochets and we are going to be slip stitching at the top of the chain three to close off this round so for round three we are going to be chaining three one two and three and again this counts as our first double crochet that goes on top of this stitch here 
we will be turning our work and placing a double crochet on top of each double crochet from the previous row. So just go ahead and place a double crochet on top of each double crochet from the previous row, like so. And once you reach the corner, place two double crochets inside that corner, one and two, chain two, and place two more double crochets inside this corner. And now we are going to be um, repeating the same process as the earlier row, which is to place a double crochet on top of each double crochet from the previous row. And yeah, so I'm just going to let you carry this on. So just place your double crochets all the way along um, this section, then in the corner, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, and then go down and place a double crochet into each um, double crochet, and then in the corner, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, and again, um, repeat this process, and I'll get back to you once you've finished this last corner, I'll show you how to finish off this row. So I've almost finished this round, and so to finish off this round, I am going, so I've just finished my last corner, where I've placed two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. And what I'm going to be doing is placing a double crochet inside this stitch here. And then in the next, and then that's it, because um, this um, chain three from the previous row goes with this stitch. So we've completed all our um, stitches. We are going to be slip stitching to close off this round, and this is what this round looks like. So now I'm going to show you how to complete the next round. So for this next round you are going to be chaining three, one, two and three, and this counts as a double crochet that goes with this stitch. Turn your work and proceed as we always do, placing a double crochet on top of each um, stitch across until you reach the first corner. So obviously now that our square is getting bigger, there are more stitches, so two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, and just carry this on. So for this next section, sorry, so for this next section, place um, double crochets on top of all these double crochets, and then in each corner, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, and go all the way around, and then I'll meet you back to show you how to finish off this round. Okay, so I've almost finished this round, and to finish off this round, I'm simply going to slip stitch through that chain three from the previous round and this is what we have. And now for this project we are going to be fastening off and pulling this square, this loose end through like this to finish this square. And this is what we have. And so for this project, you should be making four of these. And once you've made four of these, I'll get back to you to show you the rest of the project. Okay, so now for this part of the project, um, we are going to be stitching our two squares together. So I've already done two squares, and I am now going to show you how to um, stitch these two squares together. So just take your um, tapestry needle and a piece of yarn. So my piece of yarn is actually quite long, maybe a bit too long, but never mind. I'm going to attach it on this side. And now I'm just going to go into the other side, trying to match um, stitch for stitch my stitching. So I'm just going to go in to this side 
and then I'm just going to stitch, I'm just going to zoom in actually, one side, I, I am using the mattress stitch, um, there we go, so I'm going in one, one side, and out the other side, like so, so in one side, and out the other side. So, um, yeah, so just do this and just stitch these two squares together. I'll let you carry this stitch on and then I'll show you how to finish off and fasten off. Okay, so I've stitched um, these two together and as you can see, I've tied a knot at the top and fastened off what I am going to be doing now is attaching my yarn. I'm just going to attach the yarn to one corner. So that's the blue yarn, of course. And with this blue yarn, we are going to be um, creating a, um, a border. So with your 4mm crochet hook, of course, you've attached your yarn in the corner just going to zoom in and try and show you as best I can and so now we are popping our hook through pulling up a loop and chaining one and now we are going to be going into that first stitch here and placing a single crochet into that and so um, to do a single crochet you are going to be going directly into the stitch pull up a loop you have two loops on your hook take your yarn and pull through two loops and we are simply going to be um, crocheting um, single crochets all the way around so just go into each stitch and place a single crochet into that and I'm just going to let you carry this on until you reach the center here and I'll show you what to do then okay so I'm just going to zoom in oops sorry so I've gone, um, I've reached the center and what I am simply going to be doing is placing um, one single crochet and then another single crochet here as best I can and then um, we reach what is one of the corners of the second um, of this square if that makes sense and just go ahead directly into that corner and place a single crochet like I've just done and then just go along and place um, a single crochet all the way around as you can see I'm fastening in my loose end as I go because um, that's just easier to deal with loose ends this way and then I'm just going to simply go all the way around and then once you reach the corner here you are going to be placing um, one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet and you are going to be doing the same thing into each corner so just go all the way around with a single crochet, one single crochet in the corner, chain two, one single crochet and then a single crochet all the way around, then one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet and just carry this on and then I'll show you how to finish off this round. Okay, so I've reached um, the other corner here, so where we started almost, I am simply going to be placing one single crochet, chain two, and one more single crochet like so, and now I'm simply going to be slip stitching in through the first single crochet we did, like this, and this closes up this round. Okay, so once we've reached, um, once we've um, finished this round, we are going to be doing a second round of single crochets. So chain one and go into the next single crochet with a single crochet. And what you are going to be doing is repeating um, the previous row um, exactly, except it's going to be easier because um, the single crochets that we've just done help make 
a more neater round but anyways just go ahead and place single crochets all the way around and don't forget that in the corners you will be placing one single crochet chain to one single crochet and I'll meet you back to finish off this round okay so I've almost finished this round and to finish off this round I'm simply going to slip stitch through this stitch here like so and I finished the second round and I am going to be fastening off so just go ahead and fasten off pull um, your yarn through that loop to tie it and that's it so we finished one side and I'm just going to let you um, do the same on the other side and then I'll get back to you to show you the rest of the project okay so I finished both sides and I've just popped um, both sides on top of each other and I've laid this flat on the desk and now I've just attached a piece of yarn on one corner because I am going to be um, stitching these two um, sides together so the front and back panel and I'm going to be using as always the mattress stitch so just go ahead and um, sew this in so we will be sewing our project from this part all the way down and then across and then up here and then once you reach here we will be fastening off and tidying up that loose end and then I'll show you how to finish off this project but yeah I'll just let you carry this on this is a really easy um, yeah the really easy part of this project so as you can see I'm just gently going in and out and yeah I'll let you carry this on and then I'll meet you back after you've done this okay so I'm back and I've sewed um, this project in and my top opening is here and what I am going to be doing is placing my um, my zipper so what I am going to do is, so this is um, the very end of my zipper with the little um, thing here that stops it from unraveling and I am going to be placing this at least one centimeter inside the bag and then I'm going to be um, pinning this so that only, so I hope you can see so that the um, zipper itself is only um, peeping up a bit. So I'm just going to do that on one side and I'm going to be using my pins to pin this and make sure you do this um, quite carefully because I find that zippers can be um, quite tricky to sew and as you know I don't usually say this, I'm quite... Um, comfortable about sewing things and so on and I very um, rarely use pins however I find zippers to be a bit tricky so I definitely recommend um, using pins and also being um, quite focused on sewing in your zipper so just go ahead and do that Okay, so I've done one side and now I'm going to unzip this side and pin this to the other side of the project. So yeah, just um, place all your pins in and then once you've done that, I'll get back to you to show you how to sew in this zipper. Okay, so I've pinned both sides and now I'm just going to choose a side to start sewing and I've popped my um, darning thread on my darning needle and I'm simply going to be, so obviously I'm doing it by hand but you can sew it in um, with your machine, that's totally fine and so I'm going to start sewing this in so just use whichever um, sewing technique you prefer. I'm just using the classic sewing um, technique, which I don't know what it's called, but it's just basically sewing in this project. So I hope you can see on camera. So I'm just popping 
my thread in and out trying to have like a straight line as much as I can and I am using blue thread because obviously I don't want um, I don't want the thread to be noticeable on the outside so yeah just go all the way across um, this make sure that you um, that this is well secured and yeah I'll meet you back at the end of um, yeah this sewing at the end just here at the beginning okay so I finished um, sewing in my zipper I actually forgot to film the end of the video so I'm filming it a couple of days later so I finished sewing in the zipper and I've also lined the crochet bag well not bag the crochet hook case and so I'm really pleased with how it looks and apologies for um, for not filming the end of um, sewing in my zipper it just slipped my mind so I'm really sorry but this is what it looks like and I'm really pleased with how it looks if you want to um, create a lining for your um, crochet hook case I will be linking in the down bar my video on how to line a crochet project it's really easy I um, hand sew my linings so anyways I hope you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to give me a thumbs up like and subscribe thank you so much bye bye